Hey everybody, it's Broken Nose Gaming here. As you can see, I have my big computer up and running again. Well, you might not be able to see. I'll actually throw an image up right now just to show you guys what I've done. But all the parts came in. I put them all together, obviously. The big changes here, I went to a case that has tempered glass on the side versus acrylic. It's actually made by the same company that I had been using. It's just a slightly updated case. I also switched out the fans. I had some RGB fans. They were just kind of bright, so I ended up going with more performance slash acoustically pleasing fans from both Be Quiet and Arctic. And the biggest change, I think, is going from an air cooler to a water cooler. The water cooler is only a 120 millimeter AIO, but it's done a pretty good job. My air cooler, even with the Noctua fan on there, was hitting like 75 celsius under like full all core boost load and after doing some burn in benchmarking just stress testing in general on this system with the aio i am hitting maybe 66 at the highest under full load so i feel like a 10 degrees celsius difference is pretty good and i'll go ahead and take that it did cost a little bit more money but there are some neat things about this aio it has a refill port so as time goes on and the coolant disappears i can go ahead and refill it and its pump is actually not in the block or the radiator it's actually down on the bottom inside of its own little part of the tubing and uh it doesn't even need to run off of the motherboard it actually gets all of its power off of the sata port so it's really cool it runs 100 percent pump all the time it's very quiet and the way my radiator uh ended up being mounted it actually got to go on the bottom so i don't have to worry about air bubbles or anything in there so it's really cool um the other thing i did i actually ended up updating my wife's computer at the same time she got upgraded she was running in a uh some no-name case that i got from fry's before they went out of business made by the same company as this one actually i think it's called cougar uh she ended up getting an nzxt 510 flow um she has 140 millimeter fans in there and then I ended up getting her an EK water block, 120 millimeter AIO. Downside is hers had to get flipped upside down, but I can show you a little picture of that. She also got a graphics card update. She ended up getting a 980 Ti. So I did a lot of research and it turned out the 980 Ti was very close to the RTX 3050, which I was gonna get her, but I got my 980 Ti for $140. That's a pretty good deal compared to I would think I was looking at $400 for the 3050 from EVGA with tax and everything like that. So $140 is a really good deal. And it, it I mean, for her, because she's not a hardcore gamer, so she mainly plays World of Tanks with me and Star Wars The Old Republic with me. So a 980 Ti is going to be more than enough. It's greater than six or uh, four gigabytes of RAM inside of the card. It's a six gigabyte card. And it's basically brand new. I was really surprised on this deal. I thought for sure it was going to be a clapped out card. This thing runs great. It's very nice. I'm very happy with that pickup. So, you know, cool deal for her. I have a 3060 Ti in here. I wanted to get her a 30 series card just because I wanted to bring her up somewhat close to my level. But unfortunately, I just couldn't pass up this deal on the 980 Ti for $140. Anyways... Moving on, so, games, I am still playing World of Tanks Blitz, I have a handful of games that I played on that laptop setup that I had for a while, I have saved those replays, they will end up in other videos, the other tank reviews that I normally do, those will come out, but I am also going to be doing other games, I did pick up games like some Need for Speed games, I've read Dead Redemption 2, I just haven't played it. I know these games are old and have been out for a while, but it'll be something at least to break up just non-stop World of Tanks videos. I'll also do some horror games. I'm going to do... Um, there was another game I wanted to do. I can't remember. But, oh, Planet Coaster. Planet Coaster is going to get on there. Um, and hopefully this just kind of broadens the variety. I still want to do tech stuff as well. I was really debating if I wanted to show a build of both... Um, my system and my wife's system i ended up not doing it just because eh, i you know that one it was kind of last minute stuff that all kind of came together and i also waited a very long time for my parts to show up because they all kind of showed up in bits and pieces so but i'm still going to do like tech stuff as well 
I think I'm going to start doing my Step Mania streams and things like that on Twitch again. I've kind of been cleared by my doctors. Um, my heart issues aren't like massive. Uh, I actually wore uh, like a portable heart monitor for two weeks and they looked over all the data and they said, yeah, you have a heart symptom, but it's not to the point where you should not be doing physical activity or stuff like that. So that's kind of good for me. I'm, I'm happy with that. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to start picking up production once a week. Uh, should be my videos unless I really get in the groove and start doing like a bunch of stuff and I know I've said that a million times but eh you know uh, things are finally starting to look up outside of the world's current events right now which I'm not gonna go into but yeah so I'm like I said happy with all the stuff that I've done to both of my rigs um, hopefully that's going to translate into some better quality videos uh, this video that's running behind me right now is just a no limits video that uh, I captured and the 3060 Ti was doing like 500 frames per second it was ridiculous so I mean it's a nice system this is gonna help me out with encoding and video and stuff like that so yeah I just kind of wanted to catch everyone up uh, this video is going up over the weekend and then starting Monday I will start doing my regular game videos. I probably will start with a World of Tanks video unless something else comes up. But yeah, so just wanted to catch you guys up. Uh, I hope everyone's doing okay. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for sitting around for two weeks while I didn't make a single video because I was just overwhelmed with building and waiting for parts. And I will catch you in the next video, guys. Take it easy.